Hi guys and girls, you and Vicky here again And today we'll be doing the part 2 of the box opening Or Remini Labyrinth Yeah, this time I remember to bring some sleeve along <laughs> And let's go for a quick recap for what we got for part 1 So we got the great tool The perfect guard for Hari And Lucifer yeah, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Yeah, it's a silver tone, but now she got a strike effect. And the reprint from Night Rose. Yeah. So today we'll be doing the remaining six packs. If I'm not wrong. Yeah, six packs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it'll be embarrassing if I screwed up. <laughs> okay, let's get cracking then. <clears throat> so, oh, for okay, I think this could be a really nice one. So, what do you guys think about the set so far? If I'm not wrong, is the price of this whole current box is actually getting quite high. This will be quite cheap, but the price is increasing due to the fact that a lot of players is actually now buying it due to Night Rose being waifu and all. So, for our first R is this, and the next one, oh, okay, it's the G Guardian for Grand Blue. Yeah, like I was saying, uh, the price of this uh, box seems to be increasing and it's getting uh, out of stock soon from my neighborhood card shop. Yeah, seems like a lot of people is buying cartons of the cartons, hoping to get the new rarity or perhaps getting new night rolls. Yeah, so for those of you who actually opened the box, what are your opinions and how do you think of the box so far? I think it's really good for um, both Grand Blue and Pure Moon, but it's kind of set for Pure Moon. I don't think there's really a uh, like Pure Moon is still isn't that meta, but Nero is getting more meta now in Japan also. So oh my god, we just pull! Oh my god, guys, we pull another one. We pull the new Night Rose. <laughs> Holy shit, what is Night Rose trying to tell me guys? Okay. Yeah, for those of you are wondering, I don't really play Night Rose. <laughs> My friend does, but yeah. I find Night Rose really good. Because after all, it's you can call from drop zone. It's really very free. Compared to like Hari, you have to call from Soul. Your soul might not actually get um uh, to be built up so easily, but your drop zone you can actually do that. So, hmm, let me see. Oh yeah, the new Night Rose actually do have hollow. So those who are rendering, yep. Oh, that looks so nice. Uh, I should compare with the old one. Yeah. So we managed to pull both the old and the new one. Wow, I think this box is meant to be for Night Rose. Perhaps. <laughs> I'm not so sure. Okay. So that's so far a very good pull. I'm very happy already. <gasps> Holy shit. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys can hear the happiness in my voice, but yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, things are looking brighter than before now. <laughs> so, this is another Ghosty card. Oh, yeah, they happen to give a lot of support for Ghosty too. For people who need to build the deck. It's not necessarily strong, but it's still playable and it's quite good. Yeah. And this is the swap mini. Last time I think we put one too. And for the other R, we got the pure moon shot. Yeah. Mm. How should we go with the next three pack? Should we? Mm, I feel like weighing the heavy one and leave it at one side first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll leave the uh, best for the last. But I could be wrong. This could be really be the best one. Uh. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, for the SP pack, it's very unique. They actually do give a, if I'm not wrong, a fighter counter in there. So it'll be 6 cards only. So instead of your regular 7 card per pack, there's actually only 6 cards. Yeah. So it's 3 Pill Moon, 3 Grand Blue. And it's, uh, if I'm not wrong, it's the Stripe Folders. The main and the the old one and the new great tree yeah if i'm not wrong <laughs> don't quote me on that 
I didn't really pull one before. Okay, so for our two arrows, we seem to pull the Tommy Brothers reprint. And one of the, if I'm not wrong, Silverton. Yeah, uh, for Pure Moon. Yep. Okay. Second last pack. Oh god, oh god, oh my god, I think that I pretty badly. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Clowns. It's all about clowns. Peekaboo. <laughs> okay, don't mind me, I'm going crazy. <laughs> oh, it looks nice. Oh, okay. Seems like I think it's a guarantee that we can actually pull um, the shred folders for uh, what? Two strike folders for each box because so far from my previous box if you guys got watch we actually pull another set of the uh strike folders for grand blue and pale moon yeah that's very cool i really like her new design she looks so much cuter the sp version you can even see the leg hey okay <laughs> jokes aside let's see what's our last cut oh it's a triple r okay and oh, 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 oh wow I think this is really meant to be a grim blue set. <clears throat> yeah. So if I'm not wrong, I got explained this effect before. So it's basically after it attacks, counter blast, flip one, discard one card, call one from your hand. For every face of G, that card plus five K. Yeah. So so far okay. okay, so that means oh <sighs> we laugh with one last pack. We put three, so three pale moons. So the next one most likely is a grand blue, and it could be a triple R and above. So that means perhaps a reprint take up one of the. I'm not sure if reprint takes up one of the triple R slots. I hope it doesn't, but yeah, we just have to see. Okay, this doesn't look good already. Uh, let's have a finger cross, guys. Let's hope and pray. Mm. So, after seeing the last two cards, we can determine uh, does the reprint take one of the triple R slots. I mean, it does preset cost. We can only get three, three double R's, three triple R's. Yeah, and yeah, hopefully, I was hoping that we can get more stuff. Yeah, <clears throat> so. For the last card is a double R. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, where is the ratio correct? Let me see. Oh, I have three triple R's here. One reprint, two double R's. So perhaps. Hmm. I'm not too sure actually. Perhaps you get two double R's. Uh, no, two triple R's. Yeah. Actually, I think in the last video we actually get two triple R's. Four double R's. I could be very wrong. <laughs> oh my god, I need to I need to really check out on the <laughs> I need to study about this. <laughs> oh my god, so embarrassing. Yeah, so we got her on the last video too. This is for the ghostly deck, as I was saying. This is a new grade three for it. Hmm, pretty decent, but I don't think anyone will play it. Other than the fact, maybe it's waifu. Yeah. So for today's pool, we only pull these three cards. All grand blue cards. <laughs> I'm not sure what it is that they're trying to tell me, but <laughs> judging from the fact that we have both night rules, hmm, something's very suspicious. <laughs> okay, so that was it for today's video. Yeah, and uh, do leave a comment on what you think about my this video uh format. Whether if you like it as a uh, split as two video or you prefer it as one single video. Yeah, and if you enjoyed the video, do leave a like. Subscribe and share with your friends. Yep, that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day.